This is the MIDI clock mode on the Disting Mark IV in conjunction with the MIDI breakout which I have here. The MIDI clock mode uh, will generate analog clock pulses from an incoming MIDI clock and it will also generate a MIDI clock from incoming analog clock pulses. What I'm going to show you first here is the MIDI clock to analog clock mode. Um, I should say both are active simultaneously but just for the clarity of a demo I'll do one at a time. Generating MIDI clock, in this case I have the Squarp Pyramid a sequencer MIDI out into the Distings MIDI in and if I press play on the pyramid the Disting starts outputting clock pulses. Um, the default settings are quarter note clocks on A and a run stop signal on B. Uh, if you see if I stop it B goes down and if I start it again B goes back up. You can choose uh, what clocks are on both of these output with the parameters. The first one a, you can change that to a slower clock, super slow, or go faster. Or again, that can generate a run stop or a reset pulse. And again, the same for B, different parameter. If I want different clocks on the two, I can have that. Or I can have the run stop or the reset pulse, as I mentioned. Uh, it just gives you a single the single reset uh, when you press play. Watch B now, reset. So that's that mode. So there you go, MIDI clock to analog clock. The other function of the MIDI clock mode on the listing is to take analog clock pulses and generate a MIDI clock. Uh, again, I'm using the Squarp Pyramid here. MIDI out from the listing into the input of the Squarp. So if I send some clock pulses into X here, the pyramid starts and is in sync. Um, now there are two different ways you can use this. The first mode just uses the X input and if the clock pulses go away, um, after two seconds it sends a MIDI stop. The other option you can select with the parameters is to uh, um, have Y as a run stop signal. In this case you can have the clock running constantly and then Y here is a run stop. So run and then if when it goes low again stop. Um, you can change the relationship between these clock pulses and the MIDI clock pulses uh, with the parameter as well. So at the moment uh, you can see it's tracking along uh, one clock per clock here. But if I change that setting without changing the clock pulses here, this is now running faster. So you can uh, freely control the relationship between the two clocks. Um, and there you have it, fairly simple, but fairly useful.